Welcome back to Pure Oxygen. When Sylvia Hewlett wrote that women in their 30s and 40s are not meant to conceive, she caused quite a stir. I'm here with one woman who not only disagrees with Sylvia's book, thank you, she has living proof that Sylvia's way is not the only way. I'm here with Julia Indichova, author of the book Inconceivable. Julia, welcome. Thank you. Nice I'm, to be here. I'm glad you're here. You know, when I read your book, I got really excited. And let me ask you something. You already had a daughter when you tried to get pregnant yes. for a second time. What, at what point did you realize you, mi you might not be able to? Well, I was 42 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. So we were trying for about three months. And I wasn't getting pregnant. And I decided to just have a series of basic tests. Right. I was not expecting trouble because the first time we didn't have any problem conceiving. Right. And when the test came back, the diagnosis hit. And it was not only did the diagnosis say that I had a problem, it also said that there were no high-tech, low-tech, or any-tech procedures. Any drugs I could use to get pregnant again. So basically, you know, science had given up on you. They're saying, forget it, this isn't going to happen. They, they actually, one of the physicians that I consulted uh, said that there was no documented case of anyone conceiving with my hormonal numbers. Now, what made you decide to ditch conventional wisdom and follow your, you know, your own instinct, your gut? Well, it didn't happen for a while. Uh, okay. for, about, for about a year, I just went from doctor to doctor to, to someone trying to find someone who would tell me, not that I had like 4.3% chances of conceiving, but just someone who would say a pregnancy was possible. Right. That's all. I just right. wanted somebody, you know, somebody yeah, with a white coat on and a stethoscope <laughs> around their neck who mm -hmm. would say, yes, Julia, you can get pregnant. Exactly. Again. So what did you do? And no, I mean, no one, no one did. Right. So, and um, then I had, so I had one set of experts on Park Avenue who said pregnancy isn't possible. Right. And then I went and I explored some alternatives in the holistic realm, mm -hmm. but I really didn't come across, even in that world, uh, on, there was no one there who would, who right. had experience with that particular right. problem. So what did you do? Did you start, did you change your diet? I, it began for me just, just with this idea, oh my God, they're telling me I can't create more life. I, there's no energy in my body. Okay. How do I change this? Right. So it started, for me, it started with food. With food, okay. I just decided, okay, I'm going to get this baby into better shape right. before I get another baby here. How long did it take you to conceive? Eight months from the day I decided to work on my body, to change my diet, to the day that I, I got the the positive pregnancy test, eight months. So it took you eight months. From eight so when months. they said, no, forget it, it's not going to happen, you went on a holistic path, and eight months later, eight here months you were later, pregnant with your... Old-fashioned way, no high-tech procedures, no drugs. That's awesome. How and old is your daughter now, your second daughter? My second daughter is eight years old. Eight, Adi? Adi, yes. Addie, right? Yes. That's and beautiful. Uh, yes. Thank okay. you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. Now, what well, advice do you have to give? Because I know that there's so many women. We're here all this, uh, all this news. Yes. You have to 40. Forget it. I've what been, advice would you give women? I've been teaching and coming across women now for the last eight years. Okay. And really, you know, what they're doing is they're running for their last good egg. So what do you so want to tell them? So the first thing is, is just protect yourself from this collective hysteria. Just create a safe zone around yourself and protect your beliefs about your own fertility. You can find Julia's book, Inconceivable, at bookstores everywhere.